The top team in the land and the only remaining undefeated in Division I takes all that on the road to the last place it lost the Conference USA game. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horwitz, glad to be with you on CBSSports.com, breaking down some of the best college basketball of the weekend. And of course, it's number one Memphis at UAB where they lost March 2nd, 2006. That's almost two years ago. From that point to this point, if you include conference tournament games, they've won 33 straight against the rest of the teams in the league. And for more, we bring in CBS Sports' Clark Kellogg from Columbus. And Clark, uh, against Houston in the last game, they actually trailed at the half for the first time since mid-December. Showed some vulnerabilities in that game. With what you saw, what can another team take advantage of uh, in terms of Memphis? Well, this Memphis team really doesn't have a lot of holes, Jason. That's why they're unbeaten and one of the favorites to get to the Final Four and perhaps win it. They're an excellent defensive team, 34% field goal defense, 26% three-point field goal defense in conference play and plus 11 rebounds a game in the conference. But if there is a small chink, theoretically anyway, it would be against a team that can display the kind of patience offensively to work the shot clock down and cash in from the perimeter and then also display that same type of patience and tenacity at the defensive end. And UAB at home may be the team that could perhaps present that kind of a challenge. Clark, a lot of people around the nation probably haven't seen UAB play. Uh, maybe they know that they won uh, against Kentucky, but it's a team coached by Mike Davis. People remember him from uh, coaching at Indiana. Is that the type of style that they play? They play a pro-style offense in that Mike Davis is very comfortable running a lot of set plays, which require movement and screening, and then getting the ball into the hands of your best player relatively late in the shot clock. And they do a good job executing that with the focus on trying to get Robert Vaden the ball on the perimeter where he's a very good perimeter shooter and he's also a big shot maker. And when you have a guy like that, you need a guy like that actually if you're going to try to maximize possessions and, and get scores late in the shot clock. And he's a guy maybe people remember from Indiana as a transfer uh, from IU. Uh, he's hitting over 41% of his threes on the year. Meanwhile, on the other side with Memphis, you've got a team that is full of stars. But maybe, Clark, the backcourt, maybe as far as uh, athleticism, skill, there's no better duo in the country than Chris Douglas Roberts and Derrick Rose. You won't get a disagreement from me, Jason. <laughs> Nobody is better in terms of a tandem than those two. I mean, you look at Derrick Rose. I've not seen him in person, but he appears to be a legitimate 6'3", unbelievable athleticism, great speed with the basketball, and can shoot it and get to the rim. And he's a point guard. He looks to set other people up, but he can take it over himself. And CDR, Christian du Chris Douglas Roberts, is an outstanding scorer and slasher and can also stretch you out a little bit with, um, with the deep shot on occasion. Yeah, John Cal Calipari certainly has a, a ton of pro guys on his team playing at the college <laughs> level. Uh, and, that, and that seems to be the case every year. It's a tough venue for some reason. UAB is always a, a, a tough place to play for, for any team in the nation. Uh, Mike Davis has a pretty good team this year as well. Do you yep. like... UAB in the upset? I can't quite go there. I do like them to be competitive and to have a chance to pull it off. But again, Memphis likes to play in spurts, Jason. And because of their tremendous defense and depth, they typically find a way to turn people off offensively and use those turnovers to get points and spurt away, much like they did against Houston. It was suffocating defense that led to scores, and that gave them a cushion to come from behind and win that one comfortably. And they only gave up 59 points in the game. Clark Kellogg, thank you very much, sir. We'll see you this weekend on CBS doing Michigan and Ohio State. All right, Jason. Folks, the two tip it off at 8 p.m. Eastern. And for more on this game or any other on the weekend, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. Watch everything else all over the CBS Audience Network. For Clark Kellogg, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care.